More viewers online, you have been anointed and persecuted for a generation. Paul says, imitate me as I imitate Christ. After Paul encountered the power of the anointing, the next thing he had to deal with were persecution. The persecutions are there so that you can understand your assignment. If Philip was going to be comfortable in Jerusalem, who could have delivered the city of Samaria? Salvation is beyond the four corner structure. It's beyond the dogma of a man. It's beyond the doctrine of a man. It's beyond the traditions of men. It's beyond the denominations of men. Salvation is for winning battles and bringing souls in the kingdom of God. There was a revival in the entire city of Samaria for the second time when Philip preached the gospel. What are you born for? What are you anointed for? Why are you in the kingdom? You are not in the kingdom to everyday pray a prayer of bless me, bless me, bless me. God is not interested in those kind of prayers. God is interested in the prayers that carries the assignment with a lot of humility in me. Just the same way demons attacks our territory they say to jesus don't finish us don't chase us away let us stay in our territory and jesus sent them in the pigs and they went in the waters so that they can stay in that territory the same way demons attack territories they attack houses and you can be able to tell what demons have attacked your household you don't stay there and watch the same enemy that suffered your family you have to do something because you are anointed. Anointed and persecuted for my generation. It is time and the clock is ticking. Tick, 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 tick. Go down there, look the witch in the face and tell them your time is over. And after this guy had given his life to Christ, he admired the real gift, the real power of performing the miracles. He said unto Philip, can I give you money so that I can have the same power? The power you have cannot be purchased by money. You are so anointed than the way you thought you are. And from today, I empower you as a fighter. You will not fight my nurse, the power of God with you. I empower you again. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Jam your hands together and give him praise. Hallelujah. So, my viewers online, God bless you. We love you. We love you so much. This is the fifth day of our prayer and fasting. And I will be coming your way just to conclude the fast together. I will find modes and means to come your way so that we can finish it together. And it shall be well. One thing I want to assure you is God rewards prayer and fasting. Done with the right attitude. So this, as we finish this prayer and fasting, make sure... You, you connect to the grace, connect to the anointing, even through your seed, your sacrifice, your love offering, because we want to see the move of the power of God in your life. Shalom, shalom.